if you want to improve, you're going to have to make changes. Okay, so here are five things that you can change right now that are going to bridge the gap from where you're at to where you want to be. Number one, you got to change the people that you hang out with. Just because you grew up across the street from somebody doesn't mean that you should still be hanging out with him uh, just because you've known him forever. You got to surround yourself with the people that are going to have a positive impact uh, on your life. Okay? So you got to take a step back sometimes and really ask the question, is that person adding value uh, to my life? Is that person helping support me chasing my dreams? If I want to play college basketball, I should be surrounding myself with other guys that want to play college basketball. And in order to do that, it's going to involve doing some things that are going to be uncomfortable. Things that we perceive, things that we perceive as risks. They're not actually risks, they're things that we perceive as risks. So things like attending an event alone where you might meet some people that are gonna, you're gonna be able to surround yourself with, uh, they're gonna have a positive impact on your life. Maybe attending a basketball camp, uh, or telling a longtime friend that, hey, no, I can't hang out tonight uh, because I gotta go to the gym and I gotta work on my game. Second thing, the things that you read. Okay, what we read, we think about, and what we think about, uh, we become. Okay, so, and you choose what you read. Okay, so why not choose something uh, that you're going to benefit from, that's going to provide some value in your life. Uh, another thing about reading is it's the same thing as, as having mentors. Uh, you can read about Kobe, you can read about things that he did to get his game to the level that it is by reading about him. Study those guys uh, and, and that's going to give you some inspiration. Okay? Everybody that wants to get to another level like wants somebody to train them, to coach them. Books are a great way to do that. So if you're reading about Kobe or you're reading about Coach K, you're learning the things that they had to do when they were in the same shoes that you're in now. And you're trying to get to the level that they're at. Okay? So by reading from them, by seeking wisdom from them, you are allowing them to train you, to mentor you, to teach you. The third thing. Uh, you got to change what you watch, okay? Uh, things that you watch on TV, Netflix, or the movies, uh, all those things have an impact on what you think about. Same thing as what you read, uh, what you watch, and what you put in your mind impacts what you think about, okay? And obviously, you got to have a balance, okay? I'm not saying that every single thing that you read should be educational and you should never watch uh, New Girl, House of Cards. For parenthood, okay? But if you're in a leader for leadership position uh, or you want to be a leader in your team, you got to find ways to develop that. Fourth thing is what you listen to. Uh, you can't tell me that you can listen to negative music for 30 to 45 minutes a day uh, and not have it have a negative impact on your life, okay? I'm not expecting you to give up Drake and Meek Mill on the weekend, okay? but just maybe switch it up once in a while uh, for something like the School of Greatness podcast. Or take that time and use it to, to meditate or to, to do yoga or work on your mental game. The fifth thing, the last thing, uh, you got to change your environment. Okay? And this can be defined as a lot of things. Okay? It might be getting out of your neighborhood once in a while. Uh, it might be changing up where you work at. For me, uh, like I work at home, so getting out to a coffee shop or doing changing up my environment or changing up where I work out, getting out at one of those places can create a calm, focused environment um, that maybe is clean and clutter-free, and it gives you that ability to to tap back in and focus. Okay. This might be changing up where you work out, especially uh, like in the fall, get outside and work out. Go outside to the court and work out. It will give you a renewed sense uh, of focus, okay? So changing up these five things are crucial to achieving who you want to be and what you want to accomplish. Changing what you read, what you watch, what you listen to, the people that you surround yourself with and your environment. If you change one of those things, it'll give you some momentum. If you change all five of those things, it'll change the trajectory of your life.
Now, if you're visiting our YouTube channel, I know that you're a serious, committed, and driven player or coach who's looking to take their game to the next level. And if that's the case, and you're ready to thrive, then your ideal next step is to download our blueprint. It's a training guide that we've used to develop middle school through NBA players, and it's packed with over 500 drills, 20 positional workouts, and inspirational stories to keep you motivated. You can get that by clicking the link below.